Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, I've been meaning to make this footnote video for months now, but I'm just getting genuinely confused at what's going on. <laughs> because I said in the boosted damage specials episode that Ice Mirror was an exception, and that turns out it's a source of dealt damage and unfortunately I did not get footage from a couple months back where I was running tests on ice mirror again and I actually found out it was boosted damage so I got absolutely confused that's why I was gonna make the footnote video but I just tested it today <laughs> uh, I think it's update 4.3 now and 0.3.0 and as of this update, Ice Mirror is dealt damage again. So I'm actually just going to... Yes, I'm with you. Since I just recorded the dealt damage video, you can get an example of dealt damage right here. <laughs> uh, very interesting stuff, for sure. Uh, I definitely will be back with a separate example that kind of showcases the stuff I talked about more in the dealt damage video but I gotta actually do the math to prepare that so here I just have Fjorm debuffed with attack tactic to make the calculations more straightforward and not ambiguous aka she's not doing exactly zero damage she's actually doing negative damage here so first let's compute the scenario before even showing the actual answer here we're just going to compute it and this is going to probably be similar to videos you will see in the future in the damage calc series when I'm just giving examples. The easiest way I think to learn it is to just show how it's done. So I'll be doing it using my method. I definitely will cover other methods of doing it, but here we have Fjorm's attack stat of 46. We apply Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, so in my case, I'm going to multiply by 0.8. I get 36.8. Using this method, I always have to round up. So, Fjorm has 37 attack against Nino here. Do my best. Nino has 30 defense, so we should expect when she attacks Fjorm off the defense tile, okay. that Fjorm does a base 7 damage. Keep that number in mind. So now we have to calculate Nino's damage. So with Blade Tome here, if I attack her from here without buffing her up with Legendary Azura further, she's going to have 67 attack. So I go ahead and apply Weapon Triangle Advantage, multiply that by 1.2 to get 80.4. And because of the method I use, I round down. And so Nino has 80 attack versus Fjorm's 43 res. So I should expect Nino does a base 37 damage to Fjorm. Of course, she's going to double, but we don't care about that here. So now we have to evaluate Ice Mirror and Shield Pulse. So using the method I use, you multiply 37 by 0.7 to get 25.9. And because of the method I'm using, we round up to 26. And then we subtract the 5 from Shield Pulse to get 21. Okay. So to recap... <laughs> uh, to recap, Nino has 80 attack versus Fiorm's 43 res to get 37 base damage. And that 37 base damage is reduced to 21. So... Fjorm, Ice Mirror, plus Shield Pulse reduces by 16. So against Nino off the defense tile, we should see 7 damage that I calculated earlier, plus that 16 from the blocked damage from Nino. So overall, 23 damage dealt to Nino. So we're going to attack here, and you'll see she counters um, all that stuff that I showed. So now let's calculate the scenario with the defense tile. And not too difficult at all. Um, okay, we just have to modify Nino's defense stat here. 
So Nino's damage is still going to be the same, so we shouldn't expect anything different there. What we should expect different is the amount of base damage Fiorm does. So again, Fiorm has her 37 attack versus Nino. And Nino on a defense tile of 30 defense. Uh, defense tiles, to apply the defense tile, we multiply by 1.3 to get 39. In this case, no rounding necessary, so that's 39 versus Fiorm's 37 attack, so that's negative 2 damage. So, again, recall, <laughs> recall Nino's attack stat being 80 against Fiorm. I, right? Yeah, 80 against Fiorm, who has 43 res for that 37 base damage. And with the Ice Mirror and Shield Pulse thing again, it drops down to 21. So that's a reduction of 16. Um... So we should expect Fiorm here, if it's a boosted damage special, we should expect her to do 14 damage to Nino, because negative 2 plus 16 is 14. Otherwise, we should expect 16 damage. Yes? So we attack Nino, or we attack Fiorm here, we see she does 16 damage. So that's pretty strong evidence that it's a... oops. Pretty strong evidence there that it's already dealt damage, but we'll go ahead and do some other calculations just to show that it's not pure coincidence that my numbers happen to align the same way as some other cases people might think of. Another thing I do hear people mistake for is that it boosts um, the unit's attack stat, and that is definitely not correct. As we will show, blah, blah, show using max buff Nino with attack defense spawn with legendary Zura just for convenience. Okay, so we'll go ahead and buff her up. So she has plus 6 to all stats, which is plus 30 attack overall blade tome, so 85 attack. And with attack defense spawn, that is 90 attack. So applying the weapon triangle, we get 108 attack versus Fiorm. So we should expect Nino to have 65 base damage against Fiorm. And then here we go again with applying Ice Mirror, same deal. Multiply by 0.7, we get 45.5, always round up using this method. And then we subtract 5 from Shield Pulse to get 41. So again, just to reiterate in case you, <laughs> in case you forgot already, Nino's 65 base damage gets reduced to 41 by Fiorm. So, using the dealt or dealt damage model, obviously Fiorm is doing way, way less than um, zero damage. It's quite in the negatives. So we should expect her, her to do 24 damage against Nino. Now let's suppose that that 24 that 24 reduced damage actually goes to few arms attack. So let's go ahead and add it to her attack stat to get 70 attack, which after the weapon triangle, multiplying by 0.8 is 56. Yes. So Nino with 41 defense on the defense tile before applying the defense tile with attack defense bond, multiply by 1.3 to get 53.3. And for this version of the calculations, we round down, so we get 53. So we should expect that Fiorm does 3 damage to Nino, which I, I think you, you can be pretty sure that's not going to happen. But as we show here, we're going to attack Fiorm, and she does 24 damage to Nino. So again, that's just more proof that uh, it's dealt damage, for now at least. And if you really want another example for some reason, if you're not convinced yet, <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and do the last one, but Nino off the defense tile. Uh, just max buffed, no attack defense bond because we can. So again, Fiorm has 37 attack against Nino here. We've already ruled out the Ice Mirror boosting her attack stat, unless there's a different way of applying it that I haven't thought of yet but as far as I'm concerned there's no way you can manipulate her attack stat 
using that 24 reduced damage to get her to deal that much damage. It's a Nino on a defense tile, so we're just not going to do that. All right, anyways, let's do one last calculation. Just this is mostly for an archive for later on, by the way. If it somehow changes for some reason, I can document it. Unlike what I did, what I didn't do a couple of months ago. So, anyways, if we max buff okay, Nino here, we get plus six to all stats again, which is again, like I said, plus 30 attack overall, so 85 attack. So now we apply the weapon triangle, multiply that by 1.2 to get 102 attack. So against Fionn's 43 res, we should expect 59 base damage. So again, multiplying by 0.7 for to factor in Ice Mirror, we get 41.3, round that up to 42. And then subtract 5 from Shield Pulse to get 37. So we see that... Fiorm reduces 22 points of that damage. 22 points, keep that in mind. Yes. So Nino has 36 defense, Fiorm has 37 attack. So we should expect her to um, deal one base damage and then the extra 22. Okay. So as you see here, I'm not gonna actually show it at this point. You're probably, <laughs> you can probably tell um, that that's gonna be the case already. But we're gonna actually show the defense tile case because, as you'll see, we still take that 22. So this has just been a quick example of what it's like to do damage calcs using a bit of dealt damage shenanigans. So as of now, I'm going to assume that. The intended feature is that Ice Mirror is dealt damage, but let me know in the comment section if I did something wrong or if you have some proof for boosted damage or whatnot, because it may have changed through updates. I personally still cannot be 100% sure if it's actually dealt damage. As of now, based on these calculations, I can conclude pretty solidly that it is right now, but I don't know if it's intended to be that way. But this has been quite long enough for a footnote video, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!